This is the right shoulder. So we have our passports in place. Post your viewing portal first. Here's our tear. You can see anteriorly. Here's our biceps tendon. Posteriorly back through the infraspinatus. So muscle tendon junction right about here. I like to prepare the footprint and I've done some of this already, removing the soft tissue. I like to use a curette first to help remove all the soft tissue from the previous fibers that might be left over to get a nice little bleeding decorticated area. And then I also like the power rasp. So here's our power rasp. I just kind of like to touch it. So at this point, uh, we're going to first harvest some bone marrow concentrate. I've already made a, a portal just off the acromion. This will be our portal that we're going to use for our anchor placement as well for our medial row. But we're going to come in here first with our jam sheeting needle. We're going to come right into the proximal humerus for a harvest of our BMC. So there's our humerus right here. So kind of in the lateral extent of the footprints, so we can come down the shaft. So here's a full 30cc syringe, and we get two of these. Next, we're going to proceed with our cuff repair. We've prepared the footprint. We're getting our BMC spun in the angel system. And so we're going to create our medial row anchor placement. So first, we're coming in with our swivel lock punch. We're going to make our medial row anterior anchor placement first, just behind the biceps tendon to restore the air of the anterior cable to swivel lock. Now, here's our knotless swivel lock device coming in. Again, this is preloaded with our fiber tape. So we bring the swivel lock anchor down to our hole and insert. So first we're going to go ahead and pass our two tapes in a horizontal mattress fashion through the medial cuff. That way they'll be out of the way when we utilize the knotless mechanism for the bow button. So we're just going to grab our medial tape, anterior medial tape, and brings them both out together. At this point, you have an option. You could either pass the two tapes together through a medial spot, anterior and posterior, or my preference is to cut the tape so I have two free ends. So we'll take our first tape. So now we're going to come in here through the anterior aspect of this tear. Avoid the bicep. I can see the bicep right there. So this is my more anterior anchor placement. Just want to be just lateral to the muscle tendon junction by a couple millimeters. So we'll grab now that pass through and bring it out the anterior portal so it's out of our way. Here's our second pass now. So we'll retrieve that. So you can see we've made our two passes here and we've left the mechanism free. And so the mechanism, the knotless mechanism, is to allow us to place our bio button right here at the footprint where we want it. So now you can see we've got our four passes of the tapes medially through the cuff tissue, a couple millimeters from the muscle tendon junction, which is where you want to be, our two anchor placements medially, anterior and posterior, and you can see our two knotless mechanisms are separated. So now we're going to apply the bio button to our knotless mechanism so the bio button will lay at the footprint and then we'll complete the double row repair over the top of the bio button to compress it to the tuberosity footprint. So here's our bio button. This is demineralized cancellous bone matrix. This specimen that we're using is three millimeters thick, 12 millimeters round. So here's the application of our BMC to the sponge. So we're just gonna let it all soak in. So the soaking time recommended is five minutes here for the button in the BMC. So now we're gonna come in through our percutaneous portal and grab the three anterior sutures from our mechanism to show that they're free from the posterior one, just so there's no problem. So next thing we're gonna retrieve through our lateral portal now, which is where we're gonna pass the bow button, I'm gonna retrieve my passing end of the repair suture and my shuttle suture. And so we're gonna pull on the one we don't need, which is posterior, so here we got the two that we need. So again, this is the, the looped end of the shuttle suture and the repair suture. So this is the, uh, Swivel lock passer. Now our repair sutures pass through the loop. We're going to bring it back through the bow button. We've got the white tapered portion of the repair suture folded to the appropriate point. And now we're going to pass with our shuttle suture. 
So we'll take a bit of slack out, create the mechanism. At this point, I want to insert the bio button. So here I'm going to insert the bio button through our passport. But I want to be careful of the sutures, so we're doing it atraumatically here. So now we're inserted. And now we're going to bring the bow button down with our shuttle suture. So at this point, we can adjust our position. So we're right on the footprint. And the Nautilus mechanism is going to hold it in place. So this is ideally located. You can see we've covered the entire footprint. And it's held in place here. This doesn't have to be super tight. I was able to manipulate with my probe to position it. Now I'm going to cut this suture as I don't need it anymore. So now we have our anterior bow button in position. So I'm going to come in through my lateral and bring out my repair suture and the looped end of the shuttle suture. We're going to repeat the process. This is for our second bow button. So we're going to fold it. This fixation does not have to be tight. This isn't for mechanical purposes. It's just for us to get our sponge for coverage of our footprints. So you can really see now the open pores of the graft and how that's going to help healing of this cuff back to bone. And remember, even though it looks as if the BMC is washed out, Dr. Mazaka has shown us that the stem cells are still there. So we've got complete coverage of the footprint, and we're going to bring the cuff repair sutures over the top for compression. As you can see, just lateral viewing portal. Good reduction of tissue over the interpositional graft. So at the end of the procedure, you can reload the interpositional graft with additional stem cells with leftover BMC, as you can see here, adding additional growth factors here to the, to the patch with the leftover BMC.